Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States, and new therapies are constantly being pursued to help battle this disease. At Riverside Methodist Hospital, doctors have been studying a new combination of technologies that's showing great promise in opening blocked arteries and keeping them open. Robin Gordon has more. How are you on, David? You all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. This scene is one you'll find repeated at hundreds of hospitals across the nation every day. That was a bad shortness of breath episode. Is that it's called cardiac catheterization. Doctors use a thin tube, which is fed through the blood vessels up to the heart, to get a better view of how the heart is functioning. About 25 years ago, doctors began using balloon-tipped catheters to gently open blocked cardiac arteries. About 10 years ago, they added thin metal scaffolds, called stents, to help hold the arteries open. However, with both balloon angioplasty and stenting, oftentimes the improvement is only temporary. In many cases, forcing the artery open triggers a process called restenosis, a gradual re-narrowing of the vessel. And we're uh, squashing the plaque against the vessel wall, compressing it, and it sets off a, an injury response. Uh, white cells are called in, there's inflammation, and it sets off the cells to overgrow, much like a scar in a, in a cut uh, on the skin. Dr. Chapikas and his colleagues at Riverside participated in a major worldwide study using stents coated with drugs that could be slowly released or eluted over the course of several weeks. The study concluded that drug eluting stents demonstrate tremendous potential for inhibiting cell regrowth and keeping arteries open and thereby reducing the necessity for repeat procedures. We got what we came for. It was a several thousand patient trial that showed re-narrowing rates with the coated stent uh, in the very low uh, 1 to 2 to 3 percent range, depending on how you counted the re-narrowing, versus uh, uh, 15 to 20 percent in the uh, bare stented uh, group. So significant, really huge reductions in this re-narrowing or um, uh, scar formation that we're talking about. The FDA is expected to give its approval to drug-eluting stents very soon, perhaps as early as this month. Dr. Chapikas warns that at the outset, demand for the stents may exceed supply, and the increased cost may not initially be covered by insurance. But he's confident both issues will be resolved, and doctors will soon have a powerful new weapon in the war against heart disease.